We're only kids, we're literally youth, having mercury symptoms already from our lake, our home. That's why my friends call me Freddie Mercury. Because <laughs> I sing Bohemian Rhapsody a lot. <laughs> I have many health conditions that I shouldn't be dealing with at my age as a, you know, as a Canadian. It's been a half a century since 10 tons of toxic mercury was dumped into our rivers. It's poisoned the fish and had a devastating impact on our people. I have, I have trouble speaking, like I have speech impairments, I have like, you know, learning disabilities. Bonjour, bean again. Mama mia, mama mia. <laughs> People call me Darwin, but my traditional name is Brown Eagle. Welcome to Grassy Narrows. Grassy Narrows! Grassy Narrows! <laughs> or as we call it, a subscriptio gong. We live in a First Nations reserve in Western Ontario, Canada. We call ourselves the Ashinaabe. We've been living on these shores for as long as anyone can remember. Today is a special day because we're at the Grassy Narrows Powa. The Powa brings a lot of people together. Like it brings other communities and you know, it brings people from the outside. It's where the whole community comes together to celebrate what it means to be a Shinobi. Are you gonna swallow my camera? During the 1960s and 70s, a paper mill upstream was using mercury to make paper. They dumped over 10 tons of mercury into our river. It's Canada's worst health crisis, but the government wants to keep it quiet. We're not going to let them. We will not stand by and let people die. Not today, not no more. This changes now. What makes it worse is that the government knew about the poisoning for decades, but chose to ignore it. There's been a half a century of denial and inaction. People did us dirty. We're all victims of mercury poisoning. Mercury poisoning attacks the nervous system. Many people suffer from learning disabilities, numbness, coordination problems, speech problems, and loss of vision. I'm starting to feel numbness right here. And I can start to feel like my bones ache right here. Yeah, see, do you see my, my, my pinky there? Like, do you see how it's moving? I'm, I'm literally like not doing anything. We've had to work hard to keep our traditions alive. Fishing has fed us for thousands of years. At one time, it created good jobs for our community. Once, once the mercury been dumped, all the camps shut down, you know, and people stopped coming to the reserve because of that issue, you know. And the government said, "You can't, you can't fish on the river because this high amounts of mercury been dumped into your system." We were made to go out and fish and go hunting and all that. We never got the experience of how it was a long time ago, fishing freely without getting sick of something. I kind of feel like we lost a big part of ourselves due to that dumping, you know? It's quite sad to see, you know, we were such a happy community, you know? We loved our families and that, you know? Now it's affected people because us being told we're sick. But it didn't have to be this way. The youth of Grassy should be living very different lives. I want the youth to have the best future they can ever have, better than our future, you know, because being sick is a rough life, you know, it's a sad life. The government did something wrong. They destroyed thousands of lives. And like, the kids shouldn't say today, oh, I'm poisoned by mercury, you know. That's a life a Canadian should, shouldn't deal with, you know. We need cleaner, healthier rivers and care for all of us that are affected by mercury poisoning. It's just amazing to see how far like, our voices could get. I want them to get even further. And that's where you come in. With your help, we'll take this fight global. We can't stop now. We've come so far. 